22nd of July, a terror accident occurred in Oslo. Instead of answering the hate, the hatred, we answered with flowers. So the flower power in Oslo this summer and autumn has changed the nation into something really positive and overwhelming for all of us. And after reading about the terrible things that happened to the young people at the Utøya island who was working for democracy and dignity, we are all impressed by their actions and their capability of being there for each other. Uh, the one that survived, 80 people died, but the one that survived and their relatives and all the other people behaved in a fantastic manner. And uh, in these days, I think we are all changed. Um, and um, work for human dignity is more into our hearts than any time before. So we can turn this into something positive. Of course, the nation Norway will be changed and uh, we are changed, but into also something positive. So keep up the work with the uh, Human Dignity University. Uh, we must be aware of the difference between being educated and uh, having uh, uh, some common ideas, some common values uh, about dignity. That's two different things. We have seen that education is not uh, a guarantee against terror. Uh, we hope that it should be, but it's not. So we have to combine education with uh, talking about uh, what we believe in, the values that we have in common. And uh, we must open up for what is uh, uh, unknown to us and uh, what we uh, disagree with. So maybe the most important things now in the years to come is to, to create uh, spaces, room for discussions where we also meet the people that we really, really disagree with. So my wish for you now in New Zealand and after that is that visit someone, talk to someone that you really disagree with and try to meet them, try to argue uh, and I think that we will succeed in the end.